Hello, I'm Fanis. Welcome to the fourth part of cold modeling tutorials. Today we're going to model the barrel and the recoil and generally the front side of the gun. But first of all, hit Ctrl 3 to go in the front orthographic, in the left orthographic view and we're going to center our mesh. Select the slide T to open that up and set origin origin to geometry. Then go right here and input 0. Do the same for the grip and for the trigger as well. Close those tabs. Now we're gonna input a circle to start modeling the barrel. Shift A mesh circle hit t and uh, right here uh, input 12 r y 90 and move it in place right here hit period to center the view to our circle and scale it down Tab to go in edit mode, extrude along the x axis and move it back. As you see, it's a bit dark, and we're gonna hit A to select everything and control N to recalculate the normals. We will uh, go to the front orthographic view, hit Z and move it back or not, hit Ctrl Z to undo and we will add some uh, thickness to it Select the back vertices and delete them. Control 3 for left orthographic view. E to extrude and scale inwards. Hit E again and move along the x axis. Now move it back right here. And select those vertices too, E for extrude, and move them back as well. Now if we select the circle and then the slide with shift select and hit control J, we will we join the, the meshes. As you see, the circle gets our subdivision surface modifier with two views. That's why we added uh, 12 vertices. Hit T while in object mode and smooth to smooth the circle. And add uh, with Ctrl R and move your mouse wheel to add two edge loops right here. To have some uh, nice thickness. And uh, select the inside edge loop, shift D and click to move it to stay to leave it in place and move it down along the Z axis. Scale the, those in, move it back and down again this is the recoil E for extrude and S 
locality and then F to fill that up select that edge loop E for extrude and move it along the X axis then extrude again and scale it extrude once more and move it back go in object mode and smooth again edit mode again control R add the edge loop here and here Now select all those vertices and hit shift D, leave it in place with click or escape. One to go in front orthographic view and move it in front, scale it down. And hit and selection to separate the selection as you see now this is a different object and we're gonna model this object right now add two edge loops in the middle control 3 for left orthographic view and we're gonna delete those vertices select those two those four vertices and move them down move, move them down as well and scale them along the y axis and move those up them in the Y a bit you can move them down and in inwards we're going to make a, a nice curve right here And now we will uh, try and make a hole for the barrel. Delete those faces. Go in vertex select mode. Scale those two in the Y. And those we just uh, want to hide those edges. So we are not able to see them. Move them back. And up. Okay. Hit one 
for front orthographic view A to select everything, extrude and move them back into the mesh it's dark so we're gonna hit A to select everything and control N to recalculate the normals we're gonna add an edge loop right here and uh, another one inside hit control R and add the edge loop here and now for user perspective view select the slide tab or we can do this at the outside view go to face select mode and select those faces X and delete the faces hit tab again select this mesh H to hide it because we have one more face right here and delete that face too go in vertex select mode select this edge loop E for extrude click and scale it inwards tab alt h to bring the other mesh up and we're gonna fill this face and uh, this face as well oops select uh, the right vertices because I didn't and now we can see through the barrel we can move them down some more and we can scale those along the y-axis until uh, you are happy with the result and move those to to give it a nice curve you can scale them along the Y you can move those up as well it's a matter of point pulling until you are uh, satisfied with the mesh you can use uh, reference images too in fact I suggest you to use reference images and a lot reference images it helps you a lot and this is our front part of the gold and this uh, concludes the fourth part of the gold modeling 
I hope to see you next time uh, where uh, we will uh, model the rest of the gun. Thank you very much.